In this video, we are taking a look at Frederick Jackson Turner's Frontier Thesis. Before talking about the key points of the essay, let's take a look at the context. Manifest Destiny dominated the American ethos throughout the 19th century. It was the idea that the expansion of the United States across North America was both justified and inevitable. And America would bring democracy and capitalism to what was deemed the uncivilized frontier. There were two eras of this expansion. In the pre-Civil War era, wagon trains followed famous trails like the Oregon, Mormon, and Santa Fe across the Great Plains into the Rocky Mountains and West Coast. Some also braved a long sea journey around the Straits of Magellan at the tip of South America and up to the west coast of California, hoping to seek and find riches during the California Gold Rush. After the Civil War, the Transcontinental Railroad was completed and the Great Plains became a place that people started settling instead of just passing through. Settlers engaged in all kinds of activities, from working on the railroad to farming, ranching, and mining. This was also spurred by the Homestead Act, passed during the Civil War, which stated that settlers can get their hands on 160 acres of land, nearly free, as long as they developed it in some way, shape, or form. The settlers streaming through the native lands brought upon conflict. The last of these wars, with various tribes, would be fought in the Great Plains and Rocky Mountain West. Many atrocities occurred in these conflicts, and eventually Native Americans succumbed to U.S. military pressure, and the remaining who survived were forced onto reservations that was usually on the least desirable land in the area. In 1890, the U.S. Census Bureau declared that the frontier was closed, which meant that there was no more land from the west coast to the east coast of the contiguous United States that was not under the control of the U.S. or state governments. This is where our author and historian steps in, Frederick Jackson Turner. Born in a small town called Portage, which resides in the great state of Wisconsin, Turner went to the University of Wisconsin and focused his studies on U.S. history. Turner came up with a thesis on the development of the United States, which he presented at a meeting of the American Historical Association at the famous 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, Illinois. Taking a look now at the Frontier's thesis key points, Turner's main claim can be best summed up with the last sentence in the first paragraph of the essay, quote, the existence of an area of free land, its continuous recession, and the advance of American settlement westward explain American development, end quote. Turner will discuss many aspects of the frontier and its importance in his essay. He attributes the settlement of the frontier as central to the American character freedom, and innovation. You also go on to describe the process of settlement, settlement from the pioneers and farmers to the businessman and industry. Turner also discusses his fear that now the frontier was gone, it may mean American dynamism, innovation, and democratic ideals would diminish or disappear. Moving on to Frederick Jackson Turner's intentions. His purpose is to state and support his thesis that the frontier was central to the development of the United States. Given that his speech is presented at the American Historical Association, it is clear Turner is intending his speech for fellow historians and students of history. Turner's point of view is that of a historian who felt that the study of the frontier was a neglected subject in which he wanted to bring light to. Now looking at who would agree and disagree with the frontier thesis, Turner's essay will be very popular amongst historians of his era. Turner will achieve a significant amount of fame in the field of history, which will lead to a successful career in academia at UW-Wisconsin and Harvard. In his era, there are no major disagreements to Turner. However, his thesis does challenge Teddy Roosevelt's idea that frontier wars, not settlement, were central to American history. Now finally, let's move on to the legacy of the frontier thesis. Turner's ideas are still hotly debated topic today in U.S. history. His prediction that the United States without a frontier to settle will go into decline was incorrect. Continual expansion will occur even in his era. This can be seen in American expansion abroad and its arrival as a world power. The United States will con controversially annex Hawaii and then fight a war with a rapidly declining but still significant Spanish empire. In that war, America will shock Europe with how easily it defeated Spain and took its possessions of Cuba, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. 
A few years later, President Teddy Roosevelt will issue his Roosevelt Corollary, in which America will expand its interest and influence in all of the Western Hemisphere. This will be covered in a future video. Finally, the Turner thesis will be challenged by historians for a variety of reasons. Some major criticisms are its dismissal of Native American civilizations that the U.S. forcibly supplanted, an additional criticism of Turner's methods and conclusions about the importance of the frontier. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click that like button. Check out some of my other videos, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends.